Yes. Ah, the finale. The grand finale. Here we are. In limbo again. After confronting the Eye of Adam, who turned out to be a creepy little guy living in his grandpa's apartment. What the? Oh no, not you. The Queen of Maggots. Welcome home, darling. Mm. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? I've been say busy. Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. Tired of all this madness. Oh, Susan. Susan, you've met Mitzi. Yes, we Very have to get well. back to Mitzi. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. Ugh. Oh. You're always take, 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 aren't you, old lady? There <sighs> are still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. Ugh, must I? Must I and take another it. life? I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one. Oh, I'll no. never bother you again. Oh no. Isn't that what you want? How do I pick out the right candle? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life extinguished forever. Oh, what a terrible, Just take terrible a deep consequence. Breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? Yeah. That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. Ugh. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't well, that's you learned true. that yet? That's not fair. No, no it isn't. Is there. You opened Brutal. your heart talking to that doctor, and he butchered you like an animal. Like an animal. Then those disgusting cannibals. They'd chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. Yeah, we took care of them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. Well, I guess you were right about all the these evil people. The way your husband treated you. The way your neighbors laughed at you for years, just for being different. You did not deserve all that. And yet, it happened. Indeed it did. Are but... You forgetting something? You've forgotten about oh, Mitzi. Yes. She's of a bright course. light. Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Yeah, old lady. Just shut up, you ugly bitch. <laughs> you tell her, Susan. Now I know who you really are. You're my depression. All those feelings I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. It was all you. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there. Always watching. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. You are my I dark reflection. Control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. It isn't. But not any longer. We're free of you, Queen this of Maggots. Yeah. Then blow out the candle. Why should I listen to anything you have to say? No. No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. We don't listen to you won't anymore. Tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger uh, than yes. you. Yes, we are strong. I, I told you, Susan was strong. And you'll be gone. Blow out the candle. No. To say goodbye, sister. <laughs> I'm not gonna miss you. Goodbye, you Queen of Maggots. You will never leave this place without me. You need me. We are one. I don't need no. you. Nope. Tomato. <laughs> we lived. Tomato. You were thinking about a tomato, That's right? a fruit. That's a fruit. <laughs> oh, we're alive and back with Mitzi. Everyone who was important survived. Tomato oh. is a fruit, silly. See, even Who Mitzi cares? agrees with me. I like tomatoes. I don't. Blech. So do I. <laughs> but I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. No. Why onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I yeah. 
ketchup, tomatoes, gross, is, eh? red sauce, all gross. Your soul, you icky, die. Icky, icky. And yet, you're here. Alive, like, if nothing's ever happened. It's a long story, Mitzi. We can well, revive. let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. I, I hate so ketchup. So do cat ladies, <laughs> apparently. Mustard's okay, but though. But this time, I feel there won't be second chances. I'm down to one last life now. <laughs> I can't afford to waste it. <laughs> you are such a nutter, Mrs. A. Hey, it's true. We get to live. Fucking bonkers. But we're we're your favorite well, I'm crazy so person. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah. Never ever do that to me again. All right. I'm happy I to see you too. I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. I love you, Mitzi. You're just such a sweet girl. This is it. His room is through that door. And no, this is the f grand it. finale of the cat lady. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. This, we are confronting a troll who encourages people to commit suicide and cause the death of Mitzi's beloved boyfriend. And now he just murdered his own father and tried to kill us. So now we get to finally meet him. The evil troll. The Eye of Adam. Oh, and he's some kind of paraplegic? What? You're... You're the Eye of Adam? Yo, Yitsu! A pathetic, wheelchair-bound invalid? Yep. Is this a joke? All along. That's why trolls you, are so vicious. Do you know who I am? Do you do know you? what you've done to me? <gasps> Mitzi! The gun! Tonight it's your turn to die. No, Mitzi, don't! I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. You're better than this, I Mitzi. I swear to God I'll do it. Where did you well, get a gun? Nothing to say? Nothing at all? Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? I don't think he can speak, Mitzi. Say something! Anything! Oh no. <gasps> the gas! See those oxygen canners? Don't Mitzi, fire the gun. Where did you get that gun from? You're gonna blow us all up. It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A. This is something I have to do. You are free to You leave can't do you this. Want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Mitzi. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. What the fuck is wrong with you? Doesn't say you a word. You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Mitzi, the oxygen Look canisters. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. Paralyzed? How is he using the keyboard then? That's, that's impossible. He's lying to us. He's faking it. Oh no. Do something. Talk for God's sake. I need you to answer me. I need to know. Yeah, he won't why answer you? you. He can't talk. Then, oh, no. how did he post all that stuff online? Yeah, that's confusing. Huh? The computer. Oh, it's a keyboard. He can control it with... Oh, he controls it with a little... thingy attached to him. What's he saying? We meet at last. How... I see. How did he do it? I think I know how. Really? How? See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. Oh. It's a controller. So he can use it the computer. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. That's why he's controller the eye. connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous. Wow. How do you even know such things? She used to be a I'm nurse. a nurse? I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Yeah. Jesus. That's messed up. That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. He yeah. really is just the eye. Nothing but a pathetic eye trolling on no. the internet. That doesn't change anything. But seriously, you, you can't shoot die. a Mitzi. No Mitzi, no he Mitzi. nothing more. I know he's a, he's the scum of the earth, but you can't do this. Because it, it will kill us. Because he's got oxygen canisters everywhere. If you 
fire that gun in here. This place is gonna blow up like a 4th of July. Yeah, do it. Okay. He's trolling us what? even now. You arrogant shit. I will fucking do it. Just tell me one thing. One thing. One thing. Why? Why do you do it? Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? Yeah. Well, what's your answer? Do you have anything to say for yourself, Mr. Eye of Adam? Oh, he's pretty quick with that. Jack. Mitzi's lover. Oh, it was so tragic when he died. Pull the trigger and you'll find out. Yeah, I, I noticed the oxygen canisters, buddy. Fine. Oof. It'll no. be a pleasure. No, don't let him trail don't let him bait scumbag? you. Don't feed the troll. Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? I'm the one holding a gun here. Explosion, and fire I hazard. And I this bastard's brain out. As soon as he looks at me. <laughs> you know, stabby you stab me? would work. But, you know, I don't Look want Mitzi to be a killer. I don't I want her to have to kill anyone. Done. She's such a good person. Me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. He can't hurt no. us. No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. I'm sorry. It's okay, this Mitzi. It's something I have to do. I have to. Can't Let you hear me that do it. Sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Susan's Please the killer stay here. stay out of it. You'll make a whole room blow up. I don't care. Come Just on. leave me alone. No. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? No, you... Well, I mean, yeah, what but... What do you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? No, you wanted revenge. For God's sake. I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry <laughs> on and more innocent people will lose their lives. We're gonna be brave really and try to that? talk her down. Because I don't. This isn't the way to do it. Yeah. Just turn these computers off instead. If he's not connected, no. he can't hurt anyone. He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed yeah. man? I know I'm a hypocrite, but still. Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend. I'm doing this because That's I'm your friend. exactly why I'm doing this. Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? I won't have hmm. very long to live with it. All you'll survive, Cancer. Fine. I know you'll you'll beat the big C. I know you can beat the big C. Think about it for a second. Come on, Mitzi, think. Would Jack really want this? Would he want you to be a killer? This bastard messed with Jack's head. He tricked him. That's what he does. He fucking tricked him. And now he's trying but to trick would you. Would Jack really want you to become a murderer? No. He wouldn't. Mm. He wasn't violent at all. His father took care of him. Now that his father's dead, he can't I survive am. at all. Exactly. So we can just walk out of here now, and he'll die. Put that gun down already. But what about me? Mitzi. No, I'll do it. I know Jack will forgive me. Without his father, he's harmless. Yeah, he'll just he was run the one away. He supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Oh, yes. Trust me. Believe They'll put me. him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable, stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. Yeah. It's and like he'll prison. never see a computer screen again. He'll never Isn't be able to hurt enough? anyone else. Come on, Mitzi. Dead. Do it. Mitzi, he's trolling he you. He wants to die, and I want to kill him. He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? Yep. A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. Yep. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Don't feed Remember the troll. Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. Man, so, Susan, you're pretty convincing. Maybe you're right. 
Yeah, come on, just lower the gun. Leave, Mrs. A. I'd never want you to get no. hurt. But I'm not going away I... without this fucker dead. Even I if that can't... means I die too. I can't let you do Mitzi, that. Have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? Yeah. He's a parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! Yeah. It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? You've got me! I'm... What? What about your mother? Oh, your yeah. family? Your mom and She's dad? Dead. Your mom's dead? You yeah. told me she was alive! I lied. I always lie. Mitzi! I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. But the you told me... The person that cared about me was <gasps> And he's dead! You lied about that... everything. Happy now? No, so I'm the quite fuck out upset. Of here and let me do what I got to do. No, I, I can't do it. I care about you. I care about you. Do it for me. Come on, Mitzi. Please. We can have a new life. We can have a brand new life together. Come on, mate. Yeah, come on. Let's go. It's been a long day. Let's go home. Let's just go home. Oh, We've that's won. good. We won. Yeah. Have we really? Yes, now he's just going to Trust sit here me. and rot in his own feces. I know we have. The Queen oh. of Maggots has been defeated. I'm the cat lady. Yep. From now on, I win every single day. Ah, yes. Susan, I'm glad you've had a change of heart. You were so depressed at the beginning of the game, and now you've found a reason to live. <laughs> And we've confronted the Eye of Adam, the killer of Jack, Mitzi's lover. I can't believe she lied to me about all her stuff, though. It's if me, her parents are again, dead. talking about huh? my ordinary little life, as usual. Oh? I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. What? The ramblings of a cat lady. Oh, not another letter. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Nah, you're still a cat lady. Since Mitzi's death. Mitzi died? Oh, no. I'll never forget those last few weeks. The cancer got it's her. It's a horrible way to die. Stuck in a hospital bed with no hope and whole life to pass you by. Six mm. months ago, I lost the best friend I'd ever had. But at least we knew it was coming. Oh, I had Mitzi. time to accept it, just like she did. And I can only be glad we spent that time together. I still miss her, though. Every day. No, I didn't. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? I thought that I thought that I did everything I right and I could get the good the ending. The no. And there it was. A friend request, over a year old. A little gift from behind the grave. Oh. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. Well, at least Susan's Turned okay. Out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them, tried to help. Oh, I can't think clearly. All I can do is cry. I wish I'd never been born. Oh, she must have joined a suicide forum and decided to help people. It's not your fault. That was the past. Give yourself the chance. Oh God, I feel terminally ill. My sickness is oh. I can't promise it's easy, but nothing good can come of this. Oh. This must be your blog. She must have started a blog. I'm glad that you were brave enough to share with us. Please don't give up just yet. So this is what she does now. She helps people. So she's no longer an angel of vengeance or justice. She's an angel and now of mercy. I'm writing this blog. I must confess. Yesterday was bad. Must have been the it anniversary. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. Mm. Oh, it's a beautiful sunny day, though. I can't believe Mitzi passed. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe good. I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting, and when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. Oh boy. No, you can recover. Oh, this must be Mitzi's grave. 
We should bring flowers. Even though Susan hates flowers. Good. At least leave her something. Mitzi Hunt. A beautiful soul. Kind. Forgiving. But if there's one generous. thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't yeah. matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall no. and rise no. again. It never Worlds really does Worlds full go of away. liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Yeah. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. Oh. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Oh. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. Uh, yeah, you learn to cope. You learn to live. It's worth it. Written and directed by R. Mikalski. Uh, ah, the smash mirror. Mm. Interface by James Spanos. Oh, this is good music. I love the music in this game. It's so introspective and thoughtful. It's not really terrifying, but it's just so deeply disturbing and personal. It's always made me feel so... I don't know... Melancholy. It's nice to know you're not alone. David Firth, that's Salad Fingers! The guy from Salad Fingers did voices in this game. <laughs> the Queen of Maggots and Liz Pauline Brian Ho Just The Dog Lady Yeah I think Susan's There's a lot of symbolism there Like her name, Susan I think that was taken as a reference from Discworld If you've ever read Discworld uh, There's the character The Grim Reaper, Death And he has a granddaughter named Susan so I think that's where Susan came from, just a theory. And I think Ashworth is symbolic for, you know, ashes and worth. That's what she feels like she's worth. Nothing. Death. Because everyone in her life died. Her father, her mother. She'd lost her husband and her baby. But in the end, she was able to carry on. Because she just had that one person, Mitzi, there to help her. And that's all you really ever need in those some days. Just one person to bring your life back to normal. Hmm. Yeah. Forever. Forever. I'll miss Mitzi though. I think in the best ending, she gets to live. But press any key to live. Oh, okay. Huh. Now that was the cat lady let's turn our background music up that was the cat lady